my battery just died. And then I was pressing the wrong button, thinking that my other battery was dead, but threw in another one and then it was working. But anyway, I was saying, so I went for a walk at work and this guy was yelling over the bridge and then I walked up to him and I was like, I said, hey, uh, do you want to be free? And uh, he's like, uh, what are you, who are you? Uh, he thought I was like one of the cops. Like he, I think he was yelling at some of the cops that drive around the forks, like yeah. making sure everything's okay. Cause our security guards, they drive around in this Jeep on the trail. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> he, he, he could tell he was like drunk or something or, oh, well, possessed, I don't know. So I said, do you want to be free? I said, uh, he's like, what do you mean free? And I said, well, from the, from the demons. And he's like, uh, I'll free you from your demons. And he was he was coming at me kind of like uh, really uh, aggressive, and he, he was like kind of hinting that he was gonna like hit me or or something. And I just said, uh, I don't have any demons. I I've got the son of God in me, and I am a son of of God because I have God in me. And uh, uh, I can't remember exactly what I said, but those those things I for sure said, and he said. And then uh, I was like backing up because I was going back to work, like I was. When I got up to him, I was at the end of the walking part that I go, and usually I turn around and go back that way. So I was backing up, because I was, uh, to be truthful, I was kind of like making sure that he wasn't going to hit me or something. So I'm backing up like this, and I was like, no, you, I, uh, I set you free. I just said, I, I, like, as he was kept approaching toward me, I was just like, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, set this man free now. You spirit of addiction and uh, just come out of him now. I, I break off your hold in Jesus' name. And then he's kind of like, he, he like he got really quiet and he uh, he's like, who, who, who are you? Who, what church do you go to? And I was like, Calvary Temple, which I haven't gone there for like <laughs> months and months and months. So just what came out, whatever, because I just said it. And then uh, he's like, he, he actually stop yelling like stop being really aggressive and then he just he wanted to walk away from me like he got scared or something or thought I was nuts or something I'm not sure but he's like he, he, the last thing he was saying was like well that's impressive <laughs> and I was like I don't know if I, I delivered him or what but I don't think I did because um he I heard him yelling again once I was like farther away so I just thought it was strange because he was coming at me like aggressively he wanted to do something hit me or whatever well, for sure, hit me because he was saying, I'll, "I'll, I'll, I'll knock out your demons or whatever." <laughs> and I just like, in the name of Jesus, come out of him now! And uh, he just totally changed his, his like path, his course, and his his like his countenance changed. Like he was less aggressive, and <laughs> he almost seemed like he was a scared, a uh, scared of me. <laughs> it's <was> interesting. <laughs> I've done that before too. There was a, a guy who had uh, s schizophrenia. He was in a, a back lane by my apartment, and I, I uh, tried to cast the devil out of him. And then he kind of laughed at me, and he said, "You have a lot of faith, don't you?" But I could tell it was the devil talking. And I, I said, uh, "I said, come out of him now, or whatever." And but he didn't come out. And and I said, "Well." because I guess, I don't know, my faith isn't there or whatever, or is doubting or what, I'm not sure, but I said, you will be coming out of him. Your time is, is, is either now or soon or whatever. I said, I can't remember, but you will come out. And then I never saw the guy again. I used to see him like every week, once or twice a week, and give him like food or money or something. And uh, But I haven't seen him since. It was weird. It was like... The devil took him away or something, took him to another area of the town, the city or something, or maybe to another city, I don't know, just speculating, but it wasn't around anymore, so I don't know. Well, well, what was that, actually, that person says you're this only happens during the prayer and fasting. Oh, that was like you the... Can't, you can't cast out any of Well, Jesus, uh, the disciples couldn't cast out a devil out of yeah. the boy, like he... They thought, well, he was a boy who had epilepsy. And uh, the father said that your disciples couldn't heal him. Yep. And uh, then Jesus said, you, you faithless and perverse generation, 
how long must I be with you? And uh, then he set the boy free, delivered him. And then the disciples asked him later, why couldn't we cast out the devil from him? And he said, it was because of your unbelief. And then he said, but this kind can only come out with prayer and fasting. So I, I don't think that it meant that the prayer and fasting cast out the devil, but it prepares the believer to have the faith to do it. There, it, it I think prayer and fasting gets rid of unbelief, gets rid of doubt. And uh, so, and, and it kills our flesh. Like we depend on the flesh or, or, or the fleshly things don't. We walk more by the Spirit, I guess. We're just more in tune with the Holy Spirit, I guess. That's what I think. That's what Curry Blake teaches too, and um, or along those lines. And I think Andrew I Andrew Womack too. Come out, yeah. Yes. I haven't seen someone delivered yet from a demon that I know of, anyway. There haven't been really many people that I've tried to deliver because it's never really manifested yeah. that much to like in front of me. I was just like just thinking about like you know like we have we have all authority in Jesus that we can go out and do all these things that Jesus had done. Yeah. And even greater things, you know. Yeah. Like just, just go out and like raise the dead, go out to uh, heal. You know, like we're doing healing the sick already. And Yeah, and, and the I, dead raised, and, and yeah, we will see it. Yeah, yeah I want to we will. To a yeah. Funeral home and just go and say, yeah. well, this person is not dead. Yeah. He's sleeping. Yeah. And then you know. When there's a funeral I going just, on. I just don't care if people laugh at me or anything. Like that. We have to not. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. They, they can laugh and all that stuff, but you know, it's just you just have to conquer the fear. Yeah. Just go to it, you know. Yeah. And uh, the one thing I just want to see is, uh, like, just like. Like what Jesus was saying, you know, like he just hit himself, and then he walked over right past these people when they were just throwing them. Yeah, yeah. And throw them off the cliff. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like they couldn't see him. That's yeah, crazy. That's right? awesome. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll do that water, too for sure. I know, believe. Yeah. Going on, all right on the river over there. Yeah. Just walk on the river, walk on the water. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just, just go do it by faith. Yeah. Or or when he or when he got or in or the boat, and then it says that, and immediately they were at the other side. Like they were like transported, like all of them, the whole pe everybody in the boat. And yeah. first he's walking on the water, then he gets in the boat, and then immediately they're on the other side. Like, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> it's kind of cloudy a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be like I felt a little bit of spits, but it's just a little little cloud. Hey, we can go this way. Clouds clear up. Clear up right now. In Jesus' name. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's going to be like sunny and hot now in a few minutes. It did. It did it. It did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Don't fall. Don't fall. See you next fall. See you next trip. <laughs> Have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> this battery is better. Should last longer. Yeah, it's you can go two ways, I guess. <laughs> I love this rock. That was cool when we were by Bassett, and there was that huge, thick vein of quartz where all those gold rock, like, oh, false yeah, pools right. gold and yeah. different... That would be neat to find, like, a, a thick vein of, like, gold. Right here. Yeah. 
We do, and it's super soft. We just oh, grab a stick like and you can dig it out. Yeah, there's a pole or something. Pole or rust. Something stuck in there. It's like gold right in there. You just take it right out. Bam, it's gold. Yeah. That'd be neat. Like pure gold. Yeah. It's so soft you can dig it out with a key or yeah. take a whole chunk home. Use it to go on a mission trip. Yeah. Do some ministry. <laughs> like Peter getting the fish with the two coins. <laughs> Has to go that way. <laughs> yeah, when I came here last time, I was going through much faster. When I came here last time, I went through much faster. Yeah, because well, there were so many black flies. Now it's much more bearable. Nice. So nice. You Lord. It's beautiful. You are beautiful. Yep. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for being in us forever. You'll never leave us. Even into eternity, we'll be with you forever. Well, that is forever. <laughs> I just want to know you more. Teach me. Lead us into all truth. The spirit of truth. Be the comforter and the counselor. Convict the world of sin, us of righteousness, and I don't understand the last part of the judgment because the devil is already judged. I don't understand that one fully. Building a better stream for fish. Twelve, twelve. <laughs> There's some of you. They, they, uh, they made this uh, this little stream more so like it, like it is now. They put rocks in and sand and to slow it down. Okay. Yeah, and I guess they made, like, it makes uh, more reserves. Oh, you got blood on the side of your head. Must have had a mosquito. You popped it. Where's that? It was just on the side. Like your temple. Right here. No. It's 
gone now, I think. No, it's gone. <laughs> You bloody. Bloody. Covered by the bloody. The bloody. This is my body and my blood. My body that was broken for your healing. And my blood that was shed for your sins. Into the woods again. wet area. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's a weird sounding bird. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a good trail. I like it. Better homes for trout. This is better streams for trout. They like clear waters that are less violent. <laughs> I guess that's why they put a lot of sand in here. Yeah, there is like, yeah. Dirty humans. <laughs> Good, eh? <laughs> Good exercise. <laughs> yeah. Be good to do like a trail like this every day. Imagine you worked in the bush, you had to walk a trail like this home every day, yeah. to and from. <laughs> yeah. Or you're traveling to the sick people in the bush to go heal them. <laughs> Yeah, search and rescue. <laughs> we are the mobile, mobile intensive prayer unit. Healing unit. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> healing and deliverance and salvation unit. Mobile God units. Oh, I think I got a spider on me now.
That's weird. Let me stop it for a 